So today we are taking a look at Surecart, a WooCommerce alternative. So when it comes to subscriptions, creating membership sites, Surecart really has the edge on WooCommerce. From subscription tools to order bumps, it even has a smooth upgrade and downgrade paths. Best part, it's easy and it genuinely saves you money. I've installed Surecart and I've connected my account. From here we'll go to products and I'm going to create a new product. I'll call this NFT art and then click create. Over here you can add in a description and an image. You have the option to add from a URL or you can upload from your images from your PC. I've already added a few images to my library and I'll select a few that I want. Now we can add in a price and I'll name this monthly. I'll then choose the payment type and I'm going to select subscription. We'll add in a price. I'll make that 99 Rand and I'll make it repeat every month. Here we have the uh, compare at price and I'll make that 120 Rand, meaning that usually costs uh, 120 but now it's 99. This is an awesome feature and we allow customers to pay what we want. So this works well for a donation site. So let's take a look over here and I have it working. So I set my minimum price to um, 50 Rand. So if I add in 30 Rand and I try to add to cart, it'll say 50 or more. And I set a maximum price, I think of 900 Rand. So you can customize this the way that you like, but it's perfect for donation. Let's go back and you can see that we have a setup fee option and you can set the fee and you can also try a free trial. So I can change this to seven days, for example, or any billing period that you prefer. I can then set my tax as included in the price and then I can go ahead and I can create my price. Now the really great thing is Surecart gives you the option to add more than one price to a product. So I'm going to add in another subscription and this time I'm going to name the subscription um, annually, annual upfront. I'll then select a price and I'll make this one 990 and have it repeat once a year. And I'll go ahead and create that price. I'll add the tax included, create. Okay, so let's add in another price. I'll name this one lifetime and I'm gonna set the payment type as one time. I'll add in my price and then I'll go ahead and create the price. Okay, so now let's say that that's quite a large amount of money to pay in one go. Now you can actually add in another option which provides a payment plan. So on this one, I'm gonna call it installment and I'll choose the installment type and I'll add a price of 1000 Rand which will repeat each month so that the amount is paid off within the three months. And then you can go ahead and create your price. You can switch physical products on or off. And if you take a look at the top here, you can also have a look at the additional options that a physical product gives you. Finally, you can also switch your published from featured or not featured, along with a bunch of additional options that are literally at your fingertips. Let's update the product status to published and continue and I'm going to save my product. So let's view the NFT art product that we created. So we'll take a look at it over here. I haven't done anything on the styling, but you can make this look a lot better. You have full control over the way these pages look. But the fact that I can have these very different payment options all available on one product is pretty amazing. Okay, so now that's pretty great, but now let's take a look and see how we can further customize our products for conversion. Let's start with order bumps. So over here, I've already created an order bump, which I named Bulk Saver. So let's edit this one. So over here, I have created an order bump price for this NFT Courses Unlimited. 
and I can change the product that I want to bump by simply clicking here and searching for a different product. So we select the product that we want and then from there we go to display conditions. Now this basically means that I want to show a bump offer in my cart if any of these items are in the cart. So in this instance, if I have um, my NFT swap product in the cart, then I'll get a bump offer for my unlimited courses. So we can add in a condition as well. You can add in another product um, and you could keep adding products and have like a whole collection if you wanted to. Okay, so now that we have that set, we then set the discount. So you can choose between percentage and fixed. So I've put a 50% discount and I wanted to auto apply the discount. Over here, you can place your bump description, get NFT unlimited 50% off, and you can add a call to action. Right, so let's take a look here. Let's add NFT swap to the cart. And we'll go over to the checkout. Now over here at the checkout process, you can see we now have this bulk saver set up and we're getting 50% off because we've got NFT swap added to the cart and we just have to select yes, we'll take it. That updates my cart on the right hand side and we've just increased the customer's spend. So let's go on over to the next step and we're going to set up upgrade groups. This defines your upgrade or downgrade path for your customer and it's based on the products that they have previously purchased. So I've created an upgrade group. Let's go into NFT courses and over here you can see I've got NFT courses for 49 Rand a month and NFT courses unlimited at 99 Rand. We can select another product and add it to the list as well. So let's view how this works from the front end. So this is how the client dashboard looks and I'm currently subscribed to NFT art. So if I want to update the plan that I'm on, I can switch between my upgrade paths that I created. I'll choose an upgrade plan and click next and we'll head on over to the cart summary. It's important to note that you can set how you want your billing to be handled. For example, I bought this subscription today, so had I upgraded later on in the month, then I would have already used part of my subscription and thus I'd be prorated a lesser amount. Over here in the dashboard, you have access to previous orders, downloads, billing, and you can completely customize this dashboard um, and make it look the way that you want. Okay, so next up, we're gonna take a look at subscription savers. Now this is honestly one of my favorite features within Surecart. So I'm going to click on settings and then I'm going to go over to subscription saver. So if I have a customer that wants to cancel their subscription, then this is a way that we can find out number one, why would they like to cancel their subscription? Is it too expensive? They're not using it? And we can create a custom survey based off of our needs. And you can add in new label items. You could offer a discount as well. So let me show you how that would work. So let's click on the too expensive option and I'll select offer a discount and then update. So now each time a client selects this option, they'll then be offered a discount and you can customize the rest of the response that the client receives. Then you can set the details of the renewal discount that you would like to offer. So I'll leave this at 15% and we can also set the duration of the discount. So I'll say it's repeating for three months and then your client can decide whether or not they want to take the offer. I really love this. This is amazing for customer retention as well as gaining insight. These options are available on Cardflow's paid plans. But honestly, when you take a look at what you actually get in here, it's really just a no-brainer and you would need quite a few plugins to get even close to this on WooCommerce. So you can preview what this will look like, um, but why don't we just take a look at the front end and see how this will work. So here is the plan that I currently have active and let's go ahead and cancel this plan from the dashboard. So cancel plan and 
here we go, it's too expensive, continue, and there's my 15% off, and I can say, yes, I'll take it, or no thanks, I'd still like to cancel. So we'll take the plan, and let's wait for this to update, and then there you can see my next payment will now be only 84 Rand 15. Okay, so if that wasn't cool enough, I'm going to show you how we can now connect Sure Triggers to our Sure Card account. Now, Sure Triggers is part of the whole Sure product range where they've got Sure Card, Sure Triggers, as well as uh, Sure Members and Sure Writers, I believe, too. So, Sure Triggers is an alternative to Zapier where I can set up what if statements. So, basically, if I do this, then do that. There are a bunch of automations or rather recipes already created like um, Surecard to WhatsApp or let's go over here and let's search for Sure Members. So Sure Members is a great plugin to help you build a membership website and if we had that installed on our site at the moment then we could click over here and we could start building. So it's setting up a workflow and basically what it's doing is it's saying that if we purchase a Surecard product, then we would like to add that user to a particular access group on our website. Additionally, we can also go here to products and you can just click on any product. And if we scroll on over to the bottom, you can see we've got this option here for add new integration. So when a customer purchases the product, the particular integration that you chose will be synced with that product. So I'll choose to add the user um, to a particular user role when they buy this product. Lastly, let's go on over to the download section on our product. And here you can add a download and you can choose between secure storage and external link. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and drop some feedback in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys.